everybody. Today I want to make a hammer rack for my garage and uh, I may not have as many hammers as some people but I've got enough that they always seem like they're always in the wrong place. So today um, I cleared out a little spot off my workbench here and uh, I'm going to put them in that corner right there. Um, I had been putting a variety of hammers in one of my drawers over there and then I've got a workbench and put them in one of those drawers there. They're just always in the way and they're a little heavy and it makes everything kind of hard to open. So time to get it organized and I'm going to show you what I did. The first thing I did was lay all my hammers out side by side so I could get an idea of how big of an area I needed. And so I, I also measured this over here just to see how much room I had to play with. And I figured I could use a uh, 18 inch wide uh, rack of some kind and I wanted to make sure that it wasn't in the way of my light switch so we're pretty good in that area. So I've got 18 inches to play with and then whenever I measured out the hammers that I had uh, that gives me plenty of room to expand. I have a, a few other claw hammers that I may actually be able to put in there as well. The next thing I did was take one of my largest hammers and I wanted to see how deep it needed to be from the wall uh, sticking out so um, I measured the end of the ball peen hammer here and so we're about two and a half, two and three quarter inches or so and I figured with the, with the opening that I make I didn't want it to really hit the wall every time so I'm going to make the uh, little section right here in the back uh, two and three quarters of an inch wide and then I measured my widest handles and I figured two inch opening would be good and then back up here you know how much uh, more I would need for the front and uh, since seven's my favorite number I'm going to go ahead and make the depth seven inches and I'm going to make a two inch opening here and this back section two and three quarters of an inch. The next thing I needed to do was determine how tall of the hammer rack would be because it's actually going to be sitting on top of the workbench there so I found some three quarter inch scrap plywood that I had and the hammer is going to be hanging on the three quarter inch board so put the tape measure underneath it and I figure 16 inches would be good enough and that gives me uh, about three inches of space if I need to slide something under there so we're gonna go with 16 and go from there
go. This little hammer rack is going to help me out quite a bit. I'll always know where the hammers are and it'll make the drawers that I've been shoving them into a lot lighter and I can put some other things in there. So, I hope this gives you some ideas on the things that you'd like to build. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. And as always, please leave suggestions or comments. I really appreciate that. Take care. Have fun. All right, well, there you go. This little, what is it called? A hammer rack.